aspirations and incantations to all of you, and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today, hello Doodle, thank you for joining us. Today we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Julian, California. So if you remember in 2020 for our Independence Day episode, we went to Julian, California, we saw a little bit of the town, we had hot dogs and apple pie. But the thing that I neglected on that trip was cider. And so I wanted to correct that mistake and I wanted to go back to Julian, which I did, and, um, and correct that mistake by doing cider and checking out their cider. So the thing about some of the cider presses or the, some, of the, some of the places that sell cider on a regular basis is that they don't have fresh pressed cider depending on what time of the year you go there because the harvest is in September and then in September, that's when you can get the fresh pressed cider, but that, it doesn't keep apparently, they don't refrigerate it or anything. So. Uh, I had several options. Um, one option, which is the option that I took, was to go to the Julian Market and Deli, which is in a historic 1890s building in Julian. And uh, in the Market and Deli, they have um, in their refrigerated case, the uh, Julian California Old Fashioned Apple Cider from Apple Lane Orchard. Now, Apple Lane Orchard is just outside of the main, uh, if you go down Main Street a little bit, turn on Apple Lane, the orchard is right there. Uh, but uh, but you can buy, buy it in the store. Uh, I imagine they give tours of the orchard. We didn't do that. So we got this one to bring back. Now, while we were there, we decided that, that well, I decided that I was gonna try uh, a couple of ciders. And most of the places this time of the year are serving it hot. So I decided we're gonna do hot hot cider and, uh, and we'll actually do this one hot as well. We might take a sip of it first uh, cold, but then we'll, take a, we'll, uh, we'll do it hot as well. So the first place we went to, was a place called Heroes. Now, Heroes has really, really good food. If you're in Julian, definitely check them out for the food. I get something called the Jammin' Burger. And the Jammin' Burger had um, perfect, perfectly cooked beef patty with bacon jam, white English cheddar, garlic aioli, and greens. And it was and it's on uh, served on a brioche bun. And it was absolutely, absolutely delicious. But I also got a hot cider. So um, sat and drank the hot cider there. And then walking around the town a little bit, I found my, Okay, I admit it, I admit it. I found myself back at Julian Pie Company uh, where I got a slice of the Dutch apple pie with some cheddar cheese melted on top of it and a hot cider. So I think they saw cold cider too, but I got the hot cider. So I had a hot cider there, hot cider there. So I decided when, when I come back, I'm gonna make this as a hot cider as well. So we have all the things to make a hot cider. I'm gonna make it a spiked, spiked hot cider. So, um, Typically, I think you just heat it up. Uh, if you want a hard cider, uh, then you go with a hard cider. There are, um, the, the difference is adding alcohol to a cider doesn't make it a hard cider. Hard cider is fermented. And, and in Julian, you can get several different brands of hard cider. As a matter of fact, uh, where they process Julian hard cider, if you've seen that in the grocery store, where they process that um, is in the same location as Apple Lane Orchard. And maybe where they get the apples from, I'm, I'm not sure. So what we're gonna do is, is um, we're gonna take a sip of it as is, and then we're gonna heat it up. I'll go over to the stove and heat that up. You don't wanna watch me do that. I'm just heating up cider. Um, and then uh, we'll put some uh, butter in it. Uh, we'll put some, we'll sprinkle some cinnamon in it, stick a cinnamon stick in that, and then we're gonna spike it with some rum. Uh, you don't have to be specific. My favorite rum, which I'm, I happen to be out of at the time, is the Kraken uh, rum, which is really, really good. Uh, there's also some Caribbean rums and some uh, uh, Latin American rums that are really, really good. I don't have those, so we're just gonna use this one here. And uh, we're gonna make a hard, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not a hard cider, but a spiked hot cider. Uh, and this is a, a really, really nice drink for the winter time, especially around, uh, around the holidays. Uh, when it's cold out, and you're just kind of sitting around a, a warm fire, unless it's the couch. Um, sitting around a, a warm fire and uh, drinking one of these uh, these hot spiked uh, ciders. So let's get this thing open. Nice apple smell, very crisp. Now, um, one of the ciders I had, I believe it was the one that I had at um, Heroes. Um, it had, it had a, a more of a, um, a kind of a sharp taste to it. So it almost tasted like, like Granny Smith apple. I'm sure they, they used the local apples for these, but it was like, sort of like a Granny Smith type apple. This one is not. Um, this one, it, it is crisp, but, it, um, but it's not as, uh, not as tart 
as, a, as like a granny spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, heat this up, we'll come back and we'll uh, assemble our drink. Stay with me. All right, we're back and um, our cider is hot. It doesn't have to be boiling, but remember you're gonna put some butter in it so you want it to be hot enough to melt the butter. So let's go ahead and pour this in our mug. Now one of the things is when I poured it out, I also noticed that there was a couple of apple seeds in there. So when they press that, apparently, you know, I don't know how filtered it is or isn't. Uh, may not be filtered uh, very well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick a cinnamon stick in there. And I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon in there. And this isn't how you know, most people would serve it just hot, just heat it up and, and serve it hot, but we're kind of making a fancy drink out of it. And I am going to put a shot of rum in it. And um, I thought I had a Julian California shot glass, but I don't, so, um, or I can't find it. So I'm going to use the world's largest big ball of twine from Cocker City, Kansas shot glass. I'll put a shot of rum in there. And let's just put a pat of butter. And then stir that up and let the butter melt on the top of that and give that a couple minutes. Now another thing that I will say about this cider is that it is darker than the cider that I was served in both restaurants. So uh, I'm sure that the uh, apples that they use are different. Uh, in both places. The other ones were much as much lighter cider. It could be that it was filtered, um, but they were both much, much lighter. And this one is a little bit darker. So that butter has melted in there. Uh, cinnamon should be diffused in there. And uh, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Oh, that is really good. That is really good. You get the sweetness of the apple, um, and then, like I said, slightly tart, but you know, not not Granny Granny Smith apple tart. That is really really good, and and like I said, a nice drink on a cool night or a cold night, perfect drink for something like that. So, again, I felt I was I was neglecting the cider aspect of Julian California the last time I was there, and so I kind of wanted to make that up to them, and uh, and then do. An episode just on their cider and I'm glad I did so uh, had it three times and um, an excellent excellent cider if you get out to Southern California I don't I'm not sure if it's in San Diego County or, or Temecula County we're near Temecula uh, but um, it's about um, it's about two to three hours from Los Angeles up in the mountains at an altitude of about 4,000 feet nice really cute little town to visit and, um, and I highly recommend that if you're going to come down to Southern California, that you go out there and you give Julian a visit. Um, check out uh, check out the Julian apple pies, check out the Julian cider, and generally have a good time. So be careful when you go, because it's still crazy out there. So be careful. Take care of this. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.